Okay, so getting started with Sketchbook Pro on the iPad. This is what it looks like when you first open it. And so you should start by either reviewing what's in here or just swiping from right to left to go through this until you get to that done part in the upper corner there. I'm going to use the device to save my artwork. And the first thing I want to show you is the three finger tap. This is just a really great shortcut that I want to show you right away, get good habits. So right there I just tapped and this uh, menu pops up in that circle. So I'm going to do it again, three finger tap. Okay, so at this point what you can do is pick a brush. I'm picking that one over on the left side there. And you can see you can choose from a whole variety of colors on the right hand side. And in the center, these are the brush properties. So right there, there's this arrow. I'm going to use one finger, tap it, and I'm going to pull it to the left and right so you can see which way it gets bigger or smaller. That's the radius. That's how thick your brush is. So now if I just take and just draw real quick, you can see how thick it is. If I made a mistake, there's that undo button. And then right next to it, oh, I can get it back. I want to redo. So now coming back over the three finger tap to my brush properties, I'm um, just making it a lot smaller. So I'm tapping and pulling left to right. There's a small line. And so now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to make my line a little bit bigger again. So I three finger tapped. I use one finger to pull the radius, the size, too much bigger. And I'm going to make a couple of marks here. Tap there and I'm going to overlap and tap right there. So now you can look real close. That's actually semi-transparent. You can see that line through it. Um, I want to change that opacity. So the arrow that was at the bottom, pull it up and down. And now I'm going to tap over here. Now you can see that has become solid opaque. So you can see the one where you can see the line through and the one where you can't. So be aware of that option. So three finger tap and you can see up and down there's that opacity mark at the top. If I want it full opacity it's 1.0. Okay so now I'm going to show you the other thing. Three finger swipe to the left is undo. So I want you to be aware of this in case something happens. Oh, I lost my work. Okay, well, you just undid it just using three fingers. To get it back, three finger swipe to the right. And of course, you can always go to the top area and do your undo with the arrows and redo with the arrows. So you can have that option as well. Okay, and so we're back to this part. The next step we are going to do um, is change and pull this one a little bit smaller to our line drawing. Um, I would suggest anywhere between about five and eight points. So to get started, grab some sort of how to draw, something really simple. Um, here I'm going to draw a spider, so I'm going to start with some giant eyes here and add in the, the pupils, but you'll notice it's a little hard for me to get that small, so I'm going to use two fingers and pinch to get a little bit tighter. Um, this is just temporary, so you'll be able to back it up, and this way I can come in and get a lot more detailed. It's kind of like expanding your canvas out and really almost making your, your finger get a lot smaller so that you're not drawing so large. Um, you can back up when you need to, and um, I'll start to add the rest of the body. Here's the back side and I will add in the mouth area and just keep this simple so that um, you kind of get the hang of it and that um, we could do some cool stuff in a few minutes. Um, so just add on these details. Again if you need to you can always pinch in to get a little bit more detail. Now you can see here that um, I made a few mistakes, kind of overlapped a little bit where I didn't want to. So um, I'm zooming in here real quick, kind of get a little bit tighter. Um, three finger tap. Now I'm grabbing that eraser. You see that over there on the left side? 
tapping that and um, you could do the same resizing of your eraser just like the brush by using one finger on that um, center area there and from here I can come in and trim off some of the the parts maybe I went too far far in kinda maybe make my line a little thinner if I want to so using that eraser is very helpful um, just getting in and fixing up some of your stuff okay so now what I want to do is um, take and move that body down because I just don't have enough room for the legs so those three dots up there and click in that then I'm hitting that transform and I can take two fingers and just pick up that drawing and move it anywhere on my canvas anywhere on my picture and I can turn it completely around I can um, take and um, flip it horizontally left and right and um, get a completely different uh, picture just like that or flip it up and down and see what it looks like that so um, you can move it and you can completely get different um, stuff from that so um, once you have it located where you want it I'm gonna go ahead and add the legs um, I'm gonna do this a little bit fast just to go through it um, I've sped this up this is not how fast I will normally draw but just wanted to kind of give you an idea here all right my favorite part of this app is the layers so look up on the right side there you see those little layers well what you're gonna do is grab that plus button and make yourself a new layer think of it like a transparency sheet so those gray checkerboard that just means it's see-through now I have it outlined in blue now and I can click off or click on so make sure you have the correct layers selected and once you do what you're gonna do is three finger tap and you're gonna scroll around and find the the color that you want so um, I think I'm gonna grab the gray and you'll see where it shows up right there now the other thing I need to do is change my diameter so remember you're gonna use your one finger to move left and right to get the the diameter changed so once I've got the thickness I'm going to go ahead and color but what you might notice that I'm coloring up all those lines that I did and now I look like I have a helmet on this guy and these legs are just kind of sloppy looking now well watch what happens I'm gonna go back up to layers and then there's this thing on the side there's these three or two horizontal lines there um, I'm gonna use my finger and pull that down and watch what happens look at I just put it underneath so I'm gonna pull it back up so you can see is one on top of the other so now I've got that layer underneath there I still have that gray layer selected and I'm coloring with the gray layer and since I'm coloring with the gray layer I'm gonna make it a little thinner there so I can get in spots I can color directly underneath my blue line I'm not disrupting my blue line at all because I'm not touching it if it was on the same layer then you would be disrupting it but since they're separate layers the line drawing is separate from the coloring layer I can fill this in a lot easier um, so once I've done that I want to also kind of touch up a little so I'm gonna grab my eraser there and the same way that you do with a brush change the diameter so I'm gonna come around and touch up those areas where I got gray where I didn't want it to be and I'm actually touching the blue line right now with my finger but it's not erasing because I haven't selected that layer but if I go and select it like this look blue layer selected okay look at I just erased some of the eye because I had that one selected come back over here I want to make sure my gray layer is selected that is such a common mistake kids end up erasing on the wrong layer so here I'll come and um, speed up here so that you can see how quick you can do it zoom in and touch up where you need to touch up now to get into the mouth area um, I'm going to still stick with my my gray layer I could do another layer if I wanted to but I'm just gonna keep it on the same one zoom in real tight grab whatever color I want for the inside of the mouth and start filling it in so remember I'm coloring underneath those blue lines and look how nice it turned out so once you have this you are ready for adding texture
So to add a little texture and depth to this spider, I'm going to create a new layer, that plus sign again. Remember, it's transparent. It's that checkerboard. And make sure it's highlighted, it's selected. And I could three finger tap, but look it up there. That's a new place to um, get a brush. And I'm kind of scrolling around, kind of looking at different textures there. Um, and I kind of want to maybe change what the radius is, maybe bigger, smaller, see, experiment what it looks like, change my colors. Um, so in here, there's actually quite um, a larger variety of colors to choose from um, if you really want to get real specific. So now that I have a new layer, I'm going to come right onto my spider because I kind of want to make it look um, hairy looking. So what I'm going to do is start to add color to the sides here. Now remember, this is in a new layer. See that one up at the top? If I pull it underneath my blue line, it kind of hides under there because I was kind of covering it before. So I'll add a little bit here and there, maybe add a little more on one side to create a little bit more of a shadow. And then I can go around and um, kind of change my radius again. Three finger tap still works for changing that. It keeps that, that just fine. Then I can put some of that hairy spider-ness on the rest of my spider there. And just like before, I can go and touch up any areas using the eraser as well. Get into those spots and get rid of some of that. So now what I want to do is I want to add a background layer. I want to add some color. Add a plus sign just like that. And now I am going to go to my background. Just tap the background. Click the brush again at the top. And there is another box right near the top. I'm circling it there. And that is the flood fill. So I'm going to choose my color. And then I'm going to tap my background. And you can see it takes a, a few seconds here for the flood fill. Now you can see I lost all my gray and my texture. Well, look at the order it's in, right? So pick that up and move it underneath. Now you probably also see that those eyes and those teeth, they're green now. Well, that's because I never colored those. It was see-through, and the see-through goes straight to white. So what we need to do is um, grab our brush again and grab that white, choose the diameter that um, we need to go to, and um, just fix it from there. So I'm going to do super fast forward here so that we can get through this quickly. You can see that I'm coloring underneath my teeth, but I'm also hitting some of my black mouth. So I'm going to want to come and pick that black and just sort of touch up those little spots that I, that I might have missed um, before. And from this point on, I think I've got a pretty good spider. So getting that spider put together is merging those layers. So the one at the top, and then I'm going to hit the arrow at the bottom. And they combine to hit the arrow again. And you'll see that merge button pop up. You want to merge them. Don't merge the background. Keep that separate for later. So you remember earlier that transform button, those three dots in the transform. I had my spider layer chosen. And now I'm just going to pick it up, move it around. But now remember, if I had my green layer chosen, I'd be moving my green layer. So make sure you have the correct layer chosen. Now coming back over to layers, notice my spider layer is chosen. I'm going to hit the double plus sign, and I've just duplicated. And now I can come back over to transform, and I'm going to pick up one of those spiders and move it around and resize, creating a far more interesting composition that actually just didn't take any more time to do at all. I've already done one spider well, and then I can even do a third spider. Change the size, move them around, rearrange. It looks a lot more scary with three spiders in your picture than it does with one, that's for sure.